what is up? 22. 22 is one of my favorite numbers. I didn't dress up to celebrate. This is my... I gotta show you guys. This is my Superman as Clark Kent. Well, this is my Superman outfit. My Super Marge. Watch. I don't know if you guys ever watch Grey's Anatomy. Look, I even wore a belt. You like my alligator britches? Or crocodile pants? Hard to tell. So, Marge, light worker, here to shine some silver light on you. Or white gold. I just never really liked the gold. Anyway, 22. I'm super, super excited. And I came out and one of the guys left me this. Like this day, it could end right now and I'd be alright with everything. Thanks guys. Keep them coming. So we put that in the collection. Alright, I got stuffed and yeah it's real <laughs> everything about me is authentic <clears throat> I got pre-production notes I'm super excited I've been doing chakra alignment meditations guided binaural beats guided meditations that's a red fly he looks like he has a little red vest on anyway um <clears throat> there's a lot of people a lot of readers a lot of tarot a lot of a lot of truth seekers having <clears> third <throat> chakra stuff. Now that I'm talking about it, my throat's a little scratchy. That's so funny. <clears throat> to me, it's like when the teacher stomps their foot. I got a message. This is important. I got some important stuff to say. Just ask me. I'll tell you. Today is September 28, 2017. <sighs> I've already been busy this morning. I woke up energized, feeling fucking rad. Made some connections. Um, shared some heart spaces with some folks uh, that I know and some that I follow, that I subscribe to. Remember, if you freaking subscribe to somebody, if you like that somebody say, like them, subscribe, give them a thumbs up, let them know that, that, because then the more you you do that, the more you're letting them know that Hey, we're like-minded. We're on the same page. We the same frequency. Look at me. I might look like Eddie Munster in time for Halloween. I don't usually dress up, but I'm feeling kind of extra Aries today. Anyway, so that's the good fun stuff. We got some heavy content coming at you. Um, I think it's kind of. I mean, there's so much irony in the world right now, and I hear that Alanis Morissette has done an updated version to Isn't It Ironic? Um, I wonder if she does a part two. She might include, or maybe it already talks about this. No, because I think that, yeah, this definitely came out before. Um, that timeline is definitely before all the weather started happening. It was definitely before the eclipse. Um, God damn, there's a lot of bugs out. Just stay away from me. We got a rule. If they land on me or touch me, I get to kill them. So they can just leave me alone. And the spider webs too are supposed to stay clear and not put their freaking webs where my face goes. But I took one out this morning. <laughs> Hi, Stanley. Get, get him out. He's in the window. Anyway, um, I think it's kind of interesting that uh, that guy that fucking, I can't even call him the pub. And, the pre hmm. the pre the dipshit CEO of the armed forces. Um. <laughs> Feel free to use that. Anyway, he wouldn't take in fucking refugees, and fucking guy was like, "All right, bitch, I'm gonna give you your own." And that's what he's done. You guys, don't forget about Houston and all that's going on in Texas. I'm going to freaking... I posted a video on my uh, Facebook page. And I'm going to add it to the link down below. Because it's important. Um, I watched a video by... Uh, where did I... Ooh, at planettruth.info That's his tube name. And this guy is uh, no-nonsense. 
He's in the dirt. He's a reporter. He's here to per report truth and let you, people know what's really going on. And, and it's just too shameful that right now more people are freaking tied up with what's going on in that stupid fucking sports world. Although there is a shining, shining light in that is that the fact that less people will fucking watch that stupid sport, which I thought they should have done a long time ago. Um, it's a time suck. Fucking resource suck. I didn't know they were tax exempt. That makes me angry. That makes me really angry because I don't even like sports and they're taking my money. That just, that ain't right. But this is all the stuff that's becoming unveiled. And hopefully churches, you know, based on a bedtime story, they'll get fucking taxed to fucking hell. It's like, it's like Dr. Seuss. I wonder if he was tax exempt because it's no different. Only Dr. Seuss is way more fun because he fucking rhymes at least. There are some funny parts in the Bible. Jesus Christ tied his ass to a, what, a post and walked a thousand miles. Stuff like that. <laughs> Brilliant. Anyway. So yeah, now we have our own refugees. There was a beautiful soul that spoke, Erica. She was interviewed in this video. <clears throat> if you want to share, look into, um, there's resources on uh, his tube over there. I'm going to have to find out what his name is. i got to give him a little bit more effort uh, over at A Planet Truth. Recommended to me by Richie from Boston. We mostly see him eye to eye, me and Richie. Some stuff we don't agree on, but... He and I'll sort that out later. Um, because it ain't even a beef. <laughs> it's just more funny than anything. <laughs> I eat, I will freaking have some fun. You can chop up some shit. Um, anyway, Erica. One day I, 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 I would love to meet you, Erica. And buy, and make you a smoothie. I will make you a smoothie. I make really good smoothies. So if I offer you a smoothie, it is like a freaking party handshake of my heart space. It was of me and by me. Okay. She's, she still knows what's going on in the world. She still knows. Um, she's still concerned about other people that have, have been affected by all of the um, weather that's happened. And, uh, and she offers a beautiful freaking not even a splinter, more of a freaking I don't even know, but she just, just listening to her talk about how community has come out with community and everybody just helps each other, it just, it makes me tingly when I think about it, because that's how it's supposed to be. One for all and all for one. I keep thinking about these songs that, that I used to listen to when I was younger. The Coke commercial, I didn't watch Mad Men, I know a lot of people that really like it, and I and I, I, did, I like to read the endings about stuff, even if I don't really track it, because I don't like loose ends, really, even though I get plenty of them. Um, they, uh, I like to teach the world to sing in perfect harmony. I was compelled to freaking, I heard a reading last night um, from this freaking classy dame out in the UK. Oh my god, she's like regal in real life. She's like, she's like, she could be a freaking stand-in on God. She could, that's how classy she is and debonair and fucking. She knows, she's got her, she knows what's going on. She, she's wide awake. Anyway, and she's, I don't know, she has such a nice voice, it feels nice. So, um, she... See, I get so caught up in the details, I get all twisted and squirrel, even though the squirrels are behind me. But the birds are out, do you hear that? Old songs, because an old song is on. I love music. Um, tie a yellow ribbon around the old, old, old tree. There's just, I don't know. So it's like we're going, we are definitely going back to grassroots of how things ought to be. So, Erica, you stay strong, and I will see you one day. I think that's why it frustrates with me. You know, I fucking... Hi, guys. I don't have my camera. I guess this is just a VIP private viewing, because I'm not... The same little guys come right... It's like... I don't know. Anyway. Okay, focus, focus. TikTok, what up? 
these people that drive around these freaking big old huge 4 by 4s Now, I don't know how much they cost. I haven't cared enough to look. I did see a commercial that it was like $10,000 for a freaking big beefy tin can. And I just think about how these old freaking vehicles are just like so much better because I got my eye on one and it's like an 88 freaking GMC <sighs> nope it's a Bronco it's a Bronco yep and it just looks shabby as fuck but looks can always be deceiving I want it so bad it's like three grand that's a lot of fucking t-shirts buy t-shirts please help me Please help me to help people having the best day of their lives, whether they know it or not. Straight people like rainbows too. They do. They do. They do. Buy the shirt. It's in order. The color spectrum. It makes sense. Why are people buying them? I really don't know why people aren't buying them. I make it easy for people to buy the shirts. They're nice shirts. I wear them. I have two. You can get my little tag on the back. They're embroidered. They're not even freaking screen print. Don't make me turn this chair around. God. Okay. Anyway. Whew. People that drive these big old freaking 4 by 4s make me fucking sick because the trucks might not be that ex... Thanks for calming me down there, little finchy bird. Because they might not be that expensive, but they're spending an exorbitant amount of money on fucking these lift kits and I just think if you buy a fucking old truck which they're always easier to work on anyway you could help so many people with your excess I don't even know what they're doing with these trucks because they're always so here in Sally Oregon they're always so fucking clean you are not evidently doing what God intended for you to do with lift kits like that it's just weird to me no logic anyway so that's why i hate those fucking four by fours those fucking and chicks drive them too so it's chicks and dudes they make me they make me gare so obnoxious and pompous they're pompous they're they're like getting up there with fucking people that drive range rovers it's just like what do you do with your excess why do you have so much excess that you fucking blow it on this trophy nonsense bullshit I gotta put both feet down because I gotta ground myself. I'm getting a little twisted up. And look at this. I look down. And I'm just saying, this is a little freaking nugget. Thanks. I gotta remember to calm down. Okay, so I just got schooled by this other kid on freaking a YouTube video shared by uh, Kyle the Philosophical. The philosophical, Kyle the philosophical. I'll put the link down below. It's about um, an indigo on Oprah. This kid schooled me, man. He put into words, like, and I like words. I'm good at words and putting them in fancy orders and whimsical ways. And this kid taught me a thing or two. The neighbor's out. <laughs> I got a neighbor over there that smokes and a neighbor across the street that smokes. Anyway, I like to put words in order, and this kid is freaking that he describes like our spectrometers and how we read people and how we get set off, and you know there there are ways that we can can transmute and reverse some of these freaking electronic pulses that go through us when we react act to emotions. Um, trans codes, they they have a good operation out in Colorado. Um, Jonah's magnificent, and she's eloquent, and she also has a nice way with words, and she's a professional in all definitions of what they used to mean, because now it means more fucking shade, and he's going to stab you in the back, and it's gross, professional, you know, but we're going back to grassroots, we're definitely getting back to grassroots, um, I want to thank my subscribers, 22, and people think it's funny, um, I'm going to end on this little t
tidbit. People think that, uh, oh, that feels good. Give me a minute. That feels good on my upper lumbar region. You can actually, this is like what I do. To, this is what I do. You gotta learn how to freaking rub your own back and shit when you're fucking so fucking single. <laughs> but it's just as effective. I don't know. I'm not so, I don't really need much. Anyway. Good tunes, good vibes, singing birds, soul tribes. Going back to grassroots. Take off your boots, put your feet in the dirt. I can't, nobody, it never hurt. That's when I off the cough stuff. Um, there, there are, we got, you know, the love and light is, fucking pisses me off to love that so much, but it's true. It freaking subutes my surly, but it's true. Love is, is the highest frequency and, and, and there's a lot of us that are putting out great strenuous efforts in order to help the transition for everyone. And the cool thing is, people don't not gotta know that we're even doing it. They don't, because these messages find the people that look for it, that come across it, that are meant to see it. It makes it that much more organic. And, um, pure. I like grass roots. I like the earth. I like how in Alaska, the Alaska, there's an Alaska page. That was just an odd looking fly because it's red. All right, I think the squirrels are waking up. Don't throw things at me though. You can offer, but don't be mean. Um, 27, 27, that's so badass. All right, I gotta wrap this up. Did I just wrap it up? I think I might have. Find your light, point it bright, direct it at the people that want it. I guess we're supposed to direct it at the people that need it the most, but if they're mean, I ain't, I'm less inclined. So thank you for the 22. Oh, that's what I was going to say. People think it's funny that people like respond so positively when you get subscribers, but anybody that's willing to subscribe to you, even... It's even better if you ring a bell. It just means that they support what you're seeing and they recognize your heart space. And be sure and do that with as many people that you can because God knows the whole world needs it. Happy fall, folks.